Good morning, guys. I uh, want to start this video out with thanking everybody who sent me uh, birthday cards, and I want to show a couple or two of them. And uh, thank you to everyone who sent me a personal email. Um, and thank you to everyone who sent me mail and I got a lot of this year was a great birthday let me tell you I had a great day and uh, anyway this is a card birthday card from uh, Nona Grace Isn't that cute and this one is from uh, Dale Bush, AZ, I think it's AZ Rock, something like that. It's AZ something, I can't remember the last of it now. And I see it all the time. But it, it, her name is Dale Bush. Thank you very much for the birthday card. And then this one from uh, Hillary Frey. Isn't that cute? You open it up and it says happy birthday. Isn't that cute? Thank you for everybody making this a special birthday. You know, the shame of it is, is all the cards and stuff that I got was all from YouTube friends and stuff. I did not get one card from a family member. Not one. It's sad, but it's true. Anyway, today's movie collection is going to be about faith, healing, love, and, uh, you know, you don't have to believe in these things, but I believe in God, and I believe that miracles do happen. I believe in the power of prayer because there's just too much documented to say any different. Anyway, I'm not going to go any farther than that. That's just my opinion, and you can have your own, and you're not going to be put down or sliked or anything like that because of your own opinion. But anyway, we're going to start with a movie called Rust. This movie is about a guy, he used to be a pastor, and he lost faith and just so much had happened that he left his town and left being a pastor. Well, while he was gone, this new family moves into his town and not long after they're there, a fire has happened and it kills the whole family. And his childhood friend is being blamed for it. And of course, he knows that his friend didn't do it or didn't have anything to do with it. So he goes back to the town to help find the truth about what happened. He kind of brings the whole town back together and he gets his faith back and all that. You have to watch it. I don't want to mess it up for you, but that's what that one is. Then we got uh, um, uh, the remaining this one I found a little strange, but it was still really good. And it's about this bunch of friends that go to a one of their friends' wedding. And during the wedding, things start to happen that uh, is told in the prophecy and then the, uh, the Bible talking about the end of times. And all this stuff starts to happen. And these this group of people have to survive getting through all the things that are happening. It's really, it's a pretty good movie. Even though it's a little strange in the beginning, it's really a good movie. All right, then we've got um, The Breakthrough. This movie is, oh my gosh. I fell in love with this movie from the second I watched it. It's about um, a woman and her husband. They have one child, the boy. And he goes out on this frozen lake with his friends and they all end up falling through. Well, they got 
the other two boys out very quick, but her son ended up going down under the ice, and he was under there for a long time before they got him. Anyway, uh, he's in the hospital for a very long time, and the doctors tell her that there's no saving him, and the mother won't give up. She, uh, even after they pronounce him dead, uh, everybody leaves the room. She stays in there with him, and she prays really hard, and and all of a sudden the signs start coming back and let's just say the mother I don't want to tell you too much about it in case you haven't seen it but the mother won't give up this movie is excellent and if you are a parent it is a must watch movie it will have a impact on you like you will not believe I promise you that alright then we have um Heaven is for real. This is really, it's really a cute movie. It's about a little boy who gets very sick and he goes into the hospital and his, his father is a pastor of a church. I can't say that he died. He has a death experience because through the whole movie you will never hear that little boy say that he died and went to heaven. He just said everybody else is the one saying that he died and went to heaven. But the little boy just said that while, when he was on that table, that he could see what was going on. He could see what his dad was doing, his mom was doing, and he went to heaven and met God. And uh, it's just a heart-jerking movie. I mean, it just, and it will actually, if you listen to this little boy and the stories that he tells of what happened when he went to heaven, it will, honest to God, make you a believer. And this is a true story. And so you've got to see this. All right, let's see. What do we have? All right, this one I picked because it's one of my favorites. It's not really uh, like a religious or anything like that, but I thought it was really nice, and it kind of fits in the category. It's about this young boy who gets, it's called The Cure, and it's about this young boy who ends up getting AIDS from a blood transplant, and he's going to die, and everybody has kind of abandoned him because he has AIDS from a blood transplant, and this one kid ends up making friends with him and takes him out, and when the kid finds out that he's dying, he kind of takes him out and tries to do everything he can with the kid and becomes his best, best friend because pretty much nobody else had anything to do with the kid. But it's, it's really a good movie. Uh, uh, it's a heart tugger movie. Beautiful. All right. Then we have um, Miracles from Heaven. This was a really good movie, too. It's about a little girl who has this disease that cannot be cured. And uh, I feel like I'm telling you guys the whole movie before you can get to see them, but there's just no other way of explaining them. Anyway, this little girl finds this tree, and she climbs up it one day, and she ends up falling in a hole in the tree, inside the tree, and they have to call... 911 fire department all that to come and rescue her and after she falls in this tree her disease her fatal disease starts to disappear and she starts to get better and she ends up telling her mom a story about what happened to her while she was in that tree and I'm not going to tell you what it is you have to watch the movie to find out but it is an excellent movie this movie gets a 10 out of 10 then we have Gabriel. Now, this one came out a couple of years ago, and I kept seeing advertisements about it, but I didn't really take the push me to go watch it or anything like that. And then I happened to come across it one day, and I went ahead and got it and watched it, and I'm glad I did. This movie is about a whole town that is just having so many problems that something has to give. I mean, everybody in that town is having some kind of problem. And the sheriff of the town uh, 
played by uh, uh, John Snyder, is dying, but he's alone. He's, he doesn't have a wife, he doesn't have kids or anything like that. Anyway, this kid comes wandering into town, and he's kind of trying to help everybody, and kind of come to find out, he was actually sent there by God to kind of help put everybody back together kind of get to know everybody in the town and and uh, help them and uh, he wasn't there to save the the sheriff of the town that was dying he wasn't sent there to help him live or anything he was there to help him feel safe and feel okay about dying and to have somebody there with him when he passed you, you know what I mean he wasn't sent there to make the guy believe he wasn't going to die, he wasn't going to be all right. He was sent there to help him get through passing away. And uh, then he sent there to help other families. And it's really a great movie. And, uh, of course, he doesn't have wings or anything until the end of the movie whenever it's revealed that he's an angel. And it's really, really a good movie. I mean, really a good movie. All right, then we have The Shack. Oh, this movie is heartbreaking. It is, I mean, it pulls at you. It really, it's about a guy. He has three kids. He has uh, two girls and a boy. And he ends up taking them camping. And while they're on this camping trip, the boy falls out of a boat and almost drowns. Well, while the father runs down to save the boy, the youngest girl ends up disappearing. And she was kidnapped by a pedophile, I guess you'd call it, or and the guy, he lives in the woods there. Um, his grief is so bad that he ends up meeting God in a different form. And I can't, I don't want to tell you a whole lot about it in case you haven't watched it. But it has Tim McGraw in it and, uh, what's her name? It has uh, Sam Worthington in it, Octavia Spencer, and Tim McGraw. And let me tell you, Octavia, uh, uh, Octavia Spencer does a beautiful, excellent job in this movie. And, of course, so does Sam uh Worthington. It's just a movie that you would love for your kids to watch, actually. All of these movies are rated for everybody for any age. I mean, I would sit down and I would almost force my family to watch them if I had to. But they're really just beautiful movies and they, they are for people who have faith Anybody can watch them, but it's a little bit different story for people who believe and people who have faith and believe in miracles, you know, and, and, and you will enjoy this movie. This one, out of all of them, this has got to be my favorite one, which I love them all. This is just my favorite one. All right, guys. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you give all of these movies a try. If there's any of them that you haven't seen, you really need to see them because it will almost put you right back on the right track.